Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I'm so glad to have you joining me for another Sunday Reset. Today we're getting started here in my bedroom. I'm just going to get my bed made and we're going to try to power through as much power cleaning as we can. This day it was Michaela's recital and I only had a couple of hours to try to get as much done as possible and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So I'm glad you're joining me. Hopefully you've got some things to get done that I can come alongside with you or maybe you're looking for some relaxation and hopefully I can give you that too. I want to apologize for my voice. I have been battling the worst allergies this week and on top of it all, I was hooting and hollering at Michaela's recital yesterday and my voice almost left me entirely. So please disregard, but I'm glad you're here anyway. Let's go ahead and get to cleaning. While we're here in the bedroom, I also want to point out that I did finally find a new rug here for under our bed. We had a really beautiful decorative uh, rug under here before, but the colors just did not match. And it was more of like a pink and an orange. And we were definitely going for more of a neutral cottage vibe. So I'm excited for you to see that new rug. And I did find it on Amazon. It was a steal. It was less than $100. It's big. I think it's a 9 by 12. I'll have it linked for you down below. Hopefully it's still on sale. But it's a great little rug. It's not really decorative at all. But I love it. It's really soft and comfortable. So super excited for that it definitely like changes the entire vibe in the bedroom it's exactly what was needed so here's a look at it up close we're going to give it a quick little vacuum again i'll try to link it down below if i forget just message me and or leave a comment and i'll put it down there but super excited about this rug i feel like it finally finishes off this bedroom I'm going to finish off here in the bedroom by doing a little bit of linen spray. This is a beautiful cotton smell that I picked up from Home Goods. I love it. It just gives a really fresh scent. I'm also going to take a second here to open up the windows. It was beautiful outside, almost chilly. And I'm going to turn off the lights and we're going to be done here in the bedroom. On this day, I was trying to save time by going from one room straight into the next. And so I'm going right here out to my coffee bar, 
directly outside of my bedroom. In the morning when I wake up, I just come right out here, get my coffee started while Danny jumps in the shower. I feed the animals and get everything going for the morning. This is one of my favorite features of my home is just having this coffee bar right outside my bedroom. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. It is kind of a catch-all. I did already go through like majority of the things that were on here. It's where mail stacks up and things from the kids' backpacks and those types of things. So lots of paper stuff. So I'd already gone through all of that off camera just so that I didn't have anything on there that was you know private that I accidentally showed so I took care of all of that now we're gonna dust it down and wipe it off and we'll be good for the next area Another area I wanted to work on was the other side of the coffee bar here. This is usually where I keep my fruit. However, I have had this mason jar drink dispenser on display and my family has asked that I put the fruit back. I keep it in a tiered tray and I've had it in the pantry, but they want it back. So I'm bringing it back. They feel like if it's in the pantry, they don't see it as much. So I'm bringing it back out here where everybody can see it and hopefully we don't have as much fruit waste. One last thing to do while I'm working on the coffee bar is to refill my collagen peptides. I use this in my coffee every single morning. I swear by this stuff. It has done wonders for my skin and I have it on Amazon subscribe. So it gets delivered I think like every four weeks but I just keep it in this nice little glass container here. This is from Amazon I believe. I believe it is. I'll try to link it down below and I just keep the little scoop in the drawer right there and put a scoop in my coffee every morning it looks pretty and it's really functional and I just refill it every month we're gonna go ahead and move into my dining room next and again like I said one room to the next and now that we're here in the great room they all kind of blend together so we're gonna work our way through the dining room then into the living room and then into the front of the house and then we're gonna save the kitchen for the last part and that's just because I feel like the kitchen is the most work so if I get all the other stuff done then I tackle the kitchen and I'm done. You know what I mean? I feel like I've got my momentum. I, my momentum, I can get through a ton before there and then save that for the last spot. Other times I feel like getting my kitchen done first is kind of like that domino chore. Amanda from This Crazy Life always talks about that chore that you do first and then it just kind of gets you going for everything else. And 
Most of the time, I feel like my kitchen is that for me. However, it really was not bad. If it was really bad, it, it probably would have been where I started. But my daughter had done a really great job the day before of helping me get it cleaned up. So it really was not bad at all. So I was able to get a lot of other stuff done first. So just taking a second here to dust my... Um, chandelier again from Amazon. I know I feel like I'm going to say that a ton, but uh, that was really affordable. And I think I've told you guys in a recent video, we are on the hunt for a new dining room table. I think I have found the one that I want. I'm pretty sure I am going back and forth about the chairs. I love these Windsor chairs. However, they are really old, very unsturdy. A couple of them have cracks. I'm not a big fan of like all the decorative work on the back of them. I'd like them to be a little bit more simple. Um, however, chairs like this are really expensive. And so I am trying to stay within a budget, right? Like I still have small children. These probably aren't going to be, you know, chairs that are going to last for a super long time. So I don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, I've talked before about the dining room chairs that I love from uh, the Magnolia line. Um, however, those are like $600 a piece um, and there's just no way. But I just can't decide on a chair yet. But we have got to invest in a new table because this one, if you can tell, it is completely lopsided, like full blown falling apart. That bench there is falling apart. Like everything is just falling apart. It's all old and it just needs, you know, we need something new. So that is going to be in the very near future. We're going to wait. We're just trying to finish out the school year and get through that before, you know, taking on some new, some new uh, projects. Also, I'm currently paying for my daughter's driver's ed classes. I don't know about where you live. They're extremely expensive out here. It's like a thousand dollars for her to take it. So uh, we're currently paying for that. And once that's finished, then I'll go ahead and spend my money somewhere else. But, you know, I try to budget. I've got five kiddos. My husband and I are both uh, public educators. And, you know, you got to just make sure you are careful with how you spend your money. We've got a daughter. My daughter is in competitive dance, which is ridiculously expensive. Um, and we've got four boys who also play sports and instruments and, you know, it all adds up. So, uh, I try to just kind of push my projects out so they're not all one on top of the other. So right now we're paying for driver's ed when that's done, then we will be investing in a new table. I cannot wait. I am super excited. Like I said, I've got the one picked out. You're going to have to wait and come back and see. It's going to be great. So I'm just taking a second here to uh, dust off this little shelf thing that I have here. This is from Hobby Lobby and I don't dust it very often. It definitely needed it and I love this little area. I think it's really, really sweet. From here, we're going to move directly into my living room. Again, it really was not bad. I just needed to put away some blankets and my family had done a majority of the picking up before we even got started here the night before. This was filmed yesterday on a Saturday and Friday night, my family decided that they would help because it was a crazy busy week. Even though it was a short week, those weeks always seem like the worst. It was a full moon. Everybody has spring fever. Everybody is just done with school so the house kind of takes the beating during the week but you know what I can't stress about that every single day I've got to put work and my kids and you know extracurricular activities ahead of other things sometimes like I said this was recital week so we had tons of extra rehearsals we just needed to have our head in other spaces so sometimes you know things get a little messy the good news is it's all fixable we can clean it up another day which is what we did give yourself grace i know every single person this happens to us some of us can't go to sleep without it being cleaned up some of us can let it go for a few days and then it kind of catches up to us and that's me i can let it go for a few days and then it just messes with my mental health so then it has to get done so you know it's okay that's just real life. 
I'm going to go through my living room now and dust everything off. And I'm just using this duster here that I'm pretty sure I got at the Dollar Tree um, for like a dollar. <laughs> Uh, $1.25 now, I guess, but um, nothing fancy. And just going to kind of tidy things up and get everything back in order. And we'll be feeling good um, to move on to some bigger cleaning. Like I mentioned, I did not want to go directly into the kitchen yet, so I moved up here to the foyer or my entryway, whatever you'd like to call it, and I'm just going to give it a quick little dust. Um, I love this little table. I've talked about it before. $8 at Salvation Army. Such a find. going to give this mirror a quick little wipe down. This mirror is from Hobby Lobby. Way too small for this space, I am aware. However, it's what I had. I purchased two of them because I thought we would use them in our bathroom, but they're just so friggin' small. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them, to be 100% honest with you, but I think they're really pretty. So my daughter has one in her room, and then we've got that other one here in the entryway. But eventually, I would like to invest in a bigger mirror. So, you know, one thing at a time. We're going to live here forever, so I've got time for all those different projects. <laughs> We're moving into my powder room now. I'm going to give this a quick wipe down. And this vanity here is another one of my favorite projects. This was actually an antique uh, wash basin that I picked up. So it's got like the nice little cabinet on the bottom. And then it did have like a back piece where you could hang a towel. It did not have the actual water basin or the sink. Um, and so that was okay. We did take the back piece off obviously so that it could fit here. Um, I repainted it and then we put um, this quartz countertop. It's just a remnant that we picked up at a local granite yard. We had them cut it to match the top that was on this cabinet originally so it's got that little bump out and then we purchased the sink and the faucet on Amazon and drilled the holes and everything and inside of the cabinet is where all of the piping is and it's just so pretty I wanted just a custom piece for in here and I love it and I wish I would have videoed that project because it was such an easy project but I just tell you guys about it all the time. We do have a lot of new subscribers, so you may not have heard me talk about it, but I do love it. You might have seen I just did a quick little Rit X. I try to do that at the start of every single month. It's another item I have on my Amazon subscribe and save, so when it shows up, I know it's time to do it, that it's been a month. And then I am just cleaning out our toilet. Now we have really hard water. We live in New England and we get really hard water and we get rings in our toilet. So I'm giving it a good scrub first with normal toilet bowl cleaner. And then I'm going back in with iron out. This is something, again, I found on Amazon. This is not sponsored, but it is turning into quite a commercial, isn't it? Um, but I found this on Amazon. I spray it into the water and I let it sit there for a few minutes. So I sprayed it. I'm cleaning off the rest of the toilet. And then we're going to go back and just flush. So this stuff is really harsh. You're not supposed to leave it on for very long. You're actually supposed to spray it and wipe it. However, because it's sitting in water, I feel like it's okay. Um, and you can also get a pumice stone to help with this. But look at that. It's like perfectly white again. And I feel like it does such a great job. And I feel like if you can actually use a pumice stone on your porcelain, 
I should be able to let that iron out sit for a minute or two. So I think it's doing okay. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands really quickly. And then I'm also using this hand scrub that my PTO made for us during Teacher Appreciation Week. I love it. It's actually just uh, coconut oil and um, sugar, I believe. And then I think it's also lemon scented. I think they also did other ones that had grapefruit. I think mine though has lemon and it came with this cute little spoon, like a little scoop. So I put the lid in the trash, just left it open with the little scoop in it and thought it would be great in here because this is where we wash our hands after we're working in the yard and the scrub is perfect for that. Um, it's also great for after you have used fresh garlic um, that'll help to get rid of that smell on your hands as well. So just giving the bathroom a quick little vacuum right now. I am not mopping in today's video. I did not have the time. Um, however, I'm going to tackle that today when I'm doing this voiceover. Um, it is Sunday, so I'm going to tackle that today. Just going to give my laundry room a quick vacuum as well. And then it's going to be time to stop avoiding the kitchen and finally go in there and get that chore done. Starting off in the kitchen by emptying the dishwasher. This is not typically my chore. This is typically my kiddos. However, everybody was getting dropped off somewhere. Like I mentioned, it was my daughter's recital day and I do not force my children, my little boys, to come and sit through a three hour recital. There's just no way. I feel like I can't enjoy it. They don't enjoy it. You know, they love to watch their sister dance, but a competition is definitely better for them where they can get up and move around. So. Everybody was getting dropped off to a friend's house so they could hang out during the recital. And while they were gone, I was trying to get these things done. So I'm gonna empty the dishwasher for them. And like I said, it's not normally my chore. Uh, we try to rotate the dishes all throughout my kiddos. I do have five kiddos. So if you're new here, I do have five children. My oldest and only girl is 16. And then I have four boys ranging in ages um, from 14 down to seven. So busy, busy house. And I get a lot of questions of how do you keep your house so clean when you have so many people? And it's because I have so many people. <laughs> when you have that many people to make the mess, you have that many people to help clean it up. And it really does just help to keep the space clean. Everybody realizes that having a clean and organized space is better for their mental health. So we just rotate chores. Everybody in the house pitches in. It gets messy. For those of you who know me in real life, you've been to my house. You know that it falls apart sometimes and that's okay. Um, but every single weekend, I'm able to put it back together. We start fresh um, and you know everybody pitches in. So... I know it sounds like, oh my gosh, you have so many people living there. How in the world could you keep your house clean? But if you think about it, it's actually easier because there's more people to help clean it up. So, you know, that's my philosophy anyway. We're going to go ahead and finish emptying these dishes. And then we're also going to uh, get the bigger dishes done. One thing I will say is this job feels like it's never ending. Literally, as soon as I was done, my husband got home from dropping everybody off and made himself lunch. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you're doing all of this, but really it's like you're you're mopping at the ocean, right? Have you seen those videos? That's pretty much what it feels like. Um, so I try to stay up on it, but the truth is we live here. So it's just going to happen again. I guess that's why there's a Sunday reset every Sunday, right?
hand, it never fails. Of course, I found more things to be washed after I finished washing everything and putting it away. That's my fault for not checking first. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash these up and then we'll go ahead and scrub out the sink. Um, I will say that you did just recently see me put away um, those green pots and pans and every video I think where you see those I get asked about those those are the caraway pans and um, I have mixed emotions about them my husband thinks they're amazing and I definitely love that they are non-stick and they are you know not going to be problematically non-stick they don't have that weird coating which is nice however um, you know the directions specifically st say not to cook with super high heat with them because it does damage the outside what the paint is um, and I love to cook I love to sear things I love to fry things I love to you know flambe things I just I do I, my pots and pans have to be able to take a beating and that's the one thing I will say that I don't love about them. They work really great, but they don't look really great now because I've kind of destroyed them with the way that I use them. So if you are a cook like me and you really beat up your pots and pans, you probably would like to invest in something like all clad, which is going to just, it's going to be expensive but they're gonna be able to withstand the beating and they're not gonna show it as much as a painted pot or pan. So as much as I love that beautiful green color and love to cook with them because they work really well, especially the large saute pan, it's huge, it's deep, I love it, I use it all the time. Um, I just feel bad that the outside looks the way it does because of the way that I cook, but I'm not going to not cook things properly just to make sure my pans look pretty. So they're probably not going to last me forever. I do know that they have, um, you know, a good lifespan. I don't remember what it is, but I know it's a really long time. Um, and again, I think that they work great. If you are not as harsh on your pots and pans as I am, then maybe they'll last a little bit longer for you. But um, I'm definitely going to have to invest in some other ones eventually, probably in the next year or two, just because I'm not a big fan of the way that they look. So it happens. The other thing too is I feel like because they are so non-stick, sometimes I don't get the right sear. Um, so for example, if I am making a roast in let's say the crock pot and I wanna sear my roast first, I don't want it to be really non-stick. I want it to have some grip to it so it can sear the meat really well before I put it in the crock pot. So instead of using my caraway pans, what I'll typically use is my cast iron, which I don't love to use because I hate cleaning it. I love to cook with it, hate to clean it, but it does an excellent job for searing meat because it does have that grip. So, you know, it's all about you and how you cook. That's just my opinion. I think that the caraway pots and pans are a beautiful quality. I would definitely be interested in trying out their bakeware. I bet it's wonderful. Um, I just have beat them up a little bit much because I didn't follow the directions. Um, and it's just because that's not how I cook. So gonna get off my soapbox now you didn't ask but I'm telling you because I do get people that comment about them and I just felt like I needed to be honest I am flipping over the laundry really quickly um, I did a load of towels and I put some vinegar in there some white vinegar and so while I was doing that I also tossed in my oldest son's soccer cleats they were really stinky and the white vinegar just helps to get rid of that smell so gave those a good wash we're gonna let those uh, air dry here on the counter and that's gonna wrap us up thank goodness
want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you made it to this part in the video, drop your favorite emoji down in the comments. I would love to see how many of you actually were able to make it through this long cleaning video. I know there was a lot to do, but I'm glad we were able to get through most of the house. So again, thank you guys so much for choosing to spend your time with me today. I hope you come back and see me. Subscribe if you're not already. I try to post two to three new videos every week. I am coming up to summer break, so that may increase here in the next month or so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends. <music>